Um, so I've been thinking like, about being myself and um, like I want to be myself around other people but I end up just thinking really hard about what I'm about to say and then I just end up usually saying nothing at all and sometimes like I see what it's like to be myself in the world but then I just end up thinking that myself sucks, so then I just don't say anything. But when I do see how it is to be myself, it feels really good. So. So if it feels so good, what makes it hard to be yourself in those moments? The other option is safer. Not saying anything is way safer. But sometimes it feels like I'm like withering away and I don't know what to do. So what do you think's going on for you in those moments when you don't feel safe being yourself? Is there anything that you could do to manage that feeling when you're in those kind of situations? Well, I guess it comes down to just trusting myself that I won't ruin everything and also trusting the world and just knowing that this day won't be that painful and this social interaction won't be the worst. But I don't think you can do a bunch of mental maze running to get there. Because then you get all up in your head and then you just get confused. And so I think you have to focus on what's outside of your head and then your head will follow. Like the wonderfulness of the friend you're talking to or the story they're telling you about. But then sometimes interactions can just be bleak. Well, so maybe that's the point, that before an experience happens, you don't know whether it's going to be something that's exciting and makes you feel alive, or whether it's going to be something bleak, like you say. You know, I don't mean to sound reductive about this, because I know that life uh, is not so simple, but I also think maybe there are worse things in life than bleak social interactions. So I would hope that your fear of missing out on life might outweigh the fear of life itself. Yeah, I hope so too. <laughs>